One of my favorite parts about this place is how quiet it is. It sure is relaxing in the morning. Mac loves it out here. This is his favorite place. Scrappin Valley is very special. This is very relaxing to me coming out here and just being in nature. Oh my gosh, there went a turkey. Scrappin Valley is basically three landowners. There's Yellow W, which is my family. There is Crest Natural Resources, which is the bulk of it. And then the eastern side is my son's company, Scrappin Valley Lodge. The Duncans are very good neighbors. Our management activities align. We do a lot of the same things. We have a lot of the same goals. Part of our core values is just doing the right thing. I hear the turkey gobble. Yeah. The candles are starting to grow on them. We have a little over 600 trees per acre here. The longleaf was native here, and we have returned about 1,200 acres of longleaf to this site. The first thing that we did was thin it to get it to where the grass could grow really well underneath the trees. The grass looks good. It was a really good burn. It's quite the thrill. <laughs> you take the ultimate thing that man can't control and you control it, it's the ultimate thrill. A lot of animals like deer and turkey, they need the open spaces to be able to see predators, to have the habitat for nesting, and having an open forest floor is what provides that for them. By reintroducing this fire, we take out the non-native plants and reestablish the native plants that have evolved with this fire. They need the fire to survive. It really opens up the woods for wildlife to preserve it for the next generation. The main woodpeckers that we're trying to protect here are the red cockaded woodpeckers. This white band signifies that this is a tree that has a red cockaded woodpecker cavity in it. We have increased the woodpecker population on our side about 50% in these eight or so years to the point where we're even exporting red cockaded woodpeckers to other forests that need them. And when I drive through here and I see the animals that have flourished because of our management activities, it makes me very proud. And it's a great privilege 